Hi, and welcome back to Classic MGB and another Viewers Cars episode. For this one, we're off to sunny California, and this time it's not just one MGB, it's loads of them. All owned by the same chap, Luis Morales. So let's take a closer look. The first of his cars is a 1968 Roadster that Lewis has named The Beast, and its ground up restoration took three years to complete. Significant bodywork was carried out, all the lower rocker panels were replaced with new assemblies, and the standard painted wire wheels were replaced with new chrome spoke wheels. Lewis liked the 1969 model year seats that came with the car though, so he kept those. This white 1971 MGB is called Justin, and has also had a ground up restoration. Lewis is just its second owner, surprising for a car that's well over 50 years old, but the original owner was unable to drive it following a hip replacement. The car wasn't driven for 10 years and had been sitting outside all of its life, but luckily it hadn't been abused. The only rust was in the boot or trunk as they say in the US, apparently due to a towel being allowed to sit and hold water from a poor trunk seal, allowing the water in. Luckily, Lewis got to this one just in time, because it's likely that had the car been in the elements for any longer, the dreaded tin worm would have got the better of it. This next bee, appropriately named Bumblebee, is a late 1978-1979 model year car and is Lewis's wife's favourite of all his cars. Lewis is the second owner of this one as well, and even though it had been well looked after, like most of Lewis's cars, it received a ground up restoration. In fact, Lewis actually restored Bumblebee and Justin at the same time. Apparently it was lots of fun keeping all the parts separated. This next MGB was named Blue Phoenix, as it was brought back from the ashes when Lewis found it in an auto wrecker's yard and saved it from the crusher. The car had many parts removed, including the cylinder head, windshield, most of the interior, hood, trunk, as well as the wheels and wiring harness. The car was Lewis's daily driver for 37 years. So far, it's never let him down, although it is on its second engine rebuild and second ground up restoration. The car left the factory in flame red and became black on its first restoration. It was then repainted in 2023 to this non-stock blue colour. This 1979 limited edition Roadster has been named Black Beauty and was bought on eBay. When purchased, it had a blown motor and had been sitting for many years. Unlike many MGBs, the car hadn't been abused, so ended up as one of the easiest ground up MGB restorations Lewis has ever undertaken. As you can see, the only thing left to do now is to replace the LE side stripes. This is Lewis's latest purchase on eBay and has yet to be named. As you can see, it's a non-runner and has yet to receive his magic touch. Apparently, the original owner was having carburation issues and the car failed the California smog test, so he sent the unit to be rebuilt. But the mechanic lost it. This was the last straw. Unfortunately for Lewis, he decided to sell it. So there you go. One owner and no less than six MGBs, all restored himself. Now, I think that could be a record, but please let us know in the comments if you know differently. Lewis clearly is highly skilled in MGB restoration and he started a YouTube channel to share hints and tips on MGB restoration. It's called MGB Workshop and it's well worth a look. There's a link in the description. If you'd like your car featured in a future Viewers Cars episode, drop us an email at hello at classicmgb.com telling us all about the car and adding a few pictures. If you've got some video, then so much the better. Finally, if you enjoyed this video, it would be great if you'd like and share it. And if you want to know when we upload new content, feel free to subscribe and click the bell for notifications. As always, thanks for watching and take care.